Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris if you prefer and I want to thank you for joining me once again. Today we are going to use Truefoot and Hill 1805. This is quite old, probably five years old. I've had this cream for a long, long time. Uh, it is a sweet smelling cream. Let's roll in the ingredients there for you real quick while I'm talking about it. Uh, $30 on Amazon and pretty much I checked West Coast Shaving. It was $30 there as well. If you're interested in purchasing it, I'll have an affiliate link below, which helps out the channel if you would like to purchase it. Anyway, um, very good cream. Would I buy it again at $4.47 an ounce, $30, 6.7 ounces, $4.47 per ounce? No, I would not buy this again. However, I'm glad I bought it the first time. In, in a world with maca root and other uh, less expensive creams, for me, this one has a really good sweet scent. Um, I can't describe it any way other than sweet. It's just a sweet, perfumey type scent. Scent strength quite good, probably about 7.5. But at $4.47 an ounce, that's fairly expensive. Uh, $5 an ounce for me is an absolute no-go price and you know it's approaching 450 so it's getting there oh by the way we forgot to talk about the razor we're going to use the Hiram Commander razor we got a lot of comments about this yesterday and I wanted to use it again just to see if I confirm my findings about the shave itself we're using the uh, feather professional super blade the one thing I'm not really digging about this razor is blade insertion is just fidgety Sometimes when I put that blade in, it's smiling, which you don't want. You see that time it went in sort of askew, then you have to pull it back out. And again, trying to do it on camera is probably not fair. So let me hold it down here where I normally would and see if we can get it in there without smiling. Now you see this time, once again, it's sort of wonky, uh, smiling now, probably hard to see. I don't like that about this razor. Now I have not talked with the inspector We'll show you the inspector there. Give a shout out to the inspector. Thumbs up, please. Anyway, uh, I don't like that it is fidgety to load this razor at all. And I'm having some trouble right now. Push down. Ay, ay, ay. Now I will say with the regular feather blade, uh, just the professional, not the super, wasn't quite as fidgety. And this is getting on my nerves, to be honest with you. But you know, it's what happens when you do Videos, okay, now you see, blade, smiling. I don't want it to smile. I want it to be straight across. And see if we can, almost need a puller to like pull it back a little bit. There we go. Well, now it's smiling on the other side. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, oh, this is getting on my nerves. Now again, doing it on camera is not always advantageous. And now I think we've straightened it out. For the most part, it looks fairly straight. That that gets on my nerves. That gets on my nerves, I'm not gonna lie. The price, we'll talk about again. Uh, retail, 255 as of yesterday. Yesterday was February 19th, today the 20th. Razor Rock Pre-Shave, we'll put a little of that on. I use this when it's a soap I've already used before on the channel. If it's a brand new soap, I'm not gonna use it because I don't want it to interfere, but since I have the pre-shave, I'm going to use it. West Coast Shaving uh, Honeycomb, which I think is a terrific brush. I like this brush a lot. Let's lather up, and we're going to talk about this razor. And I'm going to tell you folks something. The inspector told me when I received this razor, I said, man, I'm afraid to use it because I'm afraid I'll like it because I love that Cobra-style handle. And he, and he said, being the inspector, being my friend, and a longtime contributor to the channel, he said, let me tell you, if you love it, you can keep it. And so I, I went into this really wanting to, not like, but love this razor, because I would have to love it to keep it, because I don't want, I don't want to keep something that I absolutely don't love, because I don't love it, I'm gonna send it back to the inspector and he can sell it. Uh, we have not discussed his feelings about this razor. And we do that deliberately because he doesn't want to influence me or give me 
preconceived notions. And so after I use it a couple times, we'll talk and he will have seen the videos and then he'll give me his take. And so folks, I'm not lying when I say I don't like preconceived notions about products. I like to use them and give you an organic experience and that's what I do. So even when talking with friends, we don't share until I've shot the videos. And so, cause I want to really get a feel for how the razor is and what it does. I did like the way this shaves. I don't like the price at all. Now I will say uh, on their website, it looks like you can get a 30% discount or at least that's what some folks have said. And I think it's sort of flagged, but I don't know what the, if their price starts at 255 and then you get a discount or that's the discounted price, I don't know. In my opinion, again, and I don't want to harp on this endlessly, but it's just, that is too much for me. May not be for you. This head is very similar to the regular Occam, which I think when it, on Kickstarter, I think it was less than $100. Uh, basically, this is a Cobra-like design with the Occam head, right? And so if you can get that cheaper and you just don't need the Cobra handle, which I like. I mean, I love that Cobra belly and all that stuff. I think it's cool. And honestly, it's a good mild shaver. I like the way it shaves, all right? Let's be fair. Let's give the product credit. I, I do like the way it shaves. It feels really comfortable. I think I could use the three dot plate, which is, this is the two, the medium aggressive. I think I would prefer the three. To me, it still feels mild um, on my chart. But, you know, again, that's not a universal chart. Aggression is subjective like everything else. So, I really like the way it shaves. Uh, it's doing a terrific job. I don't like the fidgety foolishness with the blade. I don't like that. And I don't like the price. Um, apart from that... The finish a little rough around the edges. There's no question about it. If you have not seen the initial impressions video, go back and watch it. A couple of videos back. Well, depending on when you watch this, look for Hiram Commander Initial Impressions, and you'll see some close-ups of the razor's finish. It's not a superior finish by any stretch of the imagination. It's fairly rough in some spots. It's not rough all over, but for the money being charged, we expect better. Or I would, me, maybe not you. And a lot of people in the comments yesterday in the video said just that, too much. And so I'm not trying to convince you, just by the way, that it's too much for you. I'm just saying exactly what it is for me. It is too much for me. And I'm quite certain that the inspector bought this probably secondhand and did not pay retail, or at least I hope, because if it was 255, that was too much. Maybe not for him, but definitely for me. So that's my feelings on the terms of shave. I'm liking the shave. So, you know, some pluses, some minuses, and you can't love anything. You can't love everything. And that's one of the reasons that I made this channel in the first place was to give both praise to products and you know, sometimes when you don't like something, you know, you have to air some criticism based on my own feelings. And, and of course, my I don't represent the whole of wet shaving. I'm just one individual. So keep that in mind. But I do like the way it shaves. That's a plus. Good shaver. Uh, a little bit mild. So, But I think that would be remedied with the, uh, with the third plate. The question really for me is, and it's a really great problem to have, do I keep this razor and buy the third plate and tolerate being aggra aggravated with the fidgety nature of putting the blade in? Or do, do I send it back to the inspector and let him recover a little money? That's the question. And I think uh, I'm leaning towards sending it back, even though it would be free for me you know, the, the inspector can probably recover some money. If I'm assuming that he did, he's not a big fan of this razor, all right? He'll tell me 
We will discuss it, but we have not yet. Um, if he is a fan, if I send it back, then great. He can use it and he'll enjoy it for all time. But uh, I'm not convinced. And sometimes you do need to use something a lot longer. But I know pretty early on whether something's annoying and aggravating and the fidgety nature of the blade is. I have fooled around with it quite a bit the last couple of days and have found it. Sometimes the blade goes right in super smooth and easy. Sometimes it's a little more difficult. And I have noticed that the Feather Professional is a little easier to get in than the uh, Super. And so it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it's home run, sometimes not. And that to me is annoying. I don't like fidgety things. I don't like to have to perform certain tasks just to get a razor to work and to have to go to far more length than I would with any other razor. If I have to do all that, usually I don't want it because it's just annoying. And so um, I'm leaning towards, based on my three days of fidgeting with it, and I have fidgeted with it a lot. So I know some people go, oh, you've only had it for a few days. But believe me, I've been putting the blade in, taking that out, looking at it from the upside down position, looking at how those uh, posts come up, they're rounded on one side and kind of raised on the other. It's a good concept, but it doesn't always work flawlessly. At least not for me. Maybe you're having better luck. And if you are having better luck and this is a home run for you, then please enjoy it. And I'm happy for you. But uh, I'm enjoying the shave. And really, I'm not bothered by the design in terms of the way the razor looks. Looks great, I think. I mean, I like I like that Cobra design. I didn't like so much the way the Cobra Classic shape. Now, I've never had the opportunity to try King Cobra. I would probably like that one more. I'm not sure. Or the regular Occam's Razor, the original. I've never tried that razor. But uh, this one right here, you know, it's a good shaver, I think. It is a little bit mild. You do have to... You might have to dig in a little bit. Of course, that goes against conventional wisdom. Um, I like the way it shaves overall, though. I think it's a pretty good shaver. Would I say it's the best shaver I have? No. No. Would I say it's a very good shaver? Yeah, I would. And I think with the three-dot plate, I would like it even more. But I'm really conflicted, folks, to be completely honest as to whether I should keep this and order that third plate and give it an, a go, or just send it back to the inspector and say, you know, thanks, I really appreciate your generosity. If you don't like this, please recover some of your money on the secondhand market. What do you folks think, you know? <laughs> what do you think, what would you do? Would you stick with it for a while and see if you took to it and order that third plate and sort of be aggravated by the fidgety. You might not be aggravated by that blade thing. It's a little annoying to me. Um, I do like the way it shaves though. I mean, I gotta, I gotta give it props there. It's a smooth shaver. Um, it doesn't feel threatening whatsoever with this two dot blade. Like I don't feel like the Cobra Classic at times, like you, you felt like with that razor, you could cut yourself if you weren't careful, but this one, um, I've completely dried up on that side. I need to add a little moisture. So I can do a little touching up here. This one doesn't feel threatening. It's quite smooth. So, you know, when I do the uh, sort of post, I will sort of give the pros and cons as I see it at this point with this razor. And uh, then we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. I don't know as of this moment. Okay, we'll call that pretty nice. And let us uh, rinse down. We'll come back and uh, give you a post, so stay tuned for that. All right, and then we come with the magic made by Witches Thayers. Witch Hazel, everybody. All right. That feels super. All right. Slap some on the dome for good measure. Um, 
Well, we'll let that set it a little bit and talk about the equipment. West Coast shaving, honeycomb, synthetic, not disappointing. I love it. True Fit and Hill, 1805. Good creams. True Fit and Hill make good creams. There's no question about it. Generally, in the U.S., they run 30 bucks. Um, Four dollars and forty-seven cents an ounce. I'm glad I bought this. I will not replace this scent. A little too expensive relative to other creams, as far as I'm concerned. You can get your tobs and other things cheaper, and this one, in my opinion, is not tremendously better than say tobs or Macaroon or anything like that. So that's the way I feel about that. The Hiram Commander. What shall we say about this that hasn't been said? Uh, let's just sum it up. Good shaver on the two-dot plate, which is medium aggressive. I think I would like the three-dot plate more. It doesn't do a terrific job on my neck. I think I, I could use a little more aggression or maybe, you know, I probably need to moderate or modify my technique a little bit. Good shaver. Um, at 255 though, too expensive, too fidgety. Uh, so the question whether or not I keep this Spend the 15 bucks to get the three dot head. What do you guys think I should do? And gals, Jill especially. <laughs> what do you think I should do? Should I keep this, get that other plate, give it give it some more work or send it back to the inspector and let him recover some of his uh, hard earned cash? Um, it's a good shaver, not a great shaver. Just too expensive and fidgety. All right, let's get to the aftershave. We've talked about that enough. Um, the aftershave we are using today, Razor Rock Mutter Fokker. And this is family friendly. That's actually what it says on there. It's, it's not a, not saying any unpleasant words. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, that smells great. I wish I could describe how this smells. And by the way, I got a newsletter from Italian Barber. If you're not signed up, maybe you should be. Because right now, they're moving or something. They have a big sale on their Razor Rock soaps and creams that I got in the newsletter. And they're like, some of the soaps are like $2.99. I think that cube, which was $4.99, is $1.99. A lot of their aftershave is 6 7 bucks. Some of their soaps, 2 3 $4. So I think that goes on through today, Friday. End of the day, maybe Friday. I can't recall. But anyway, if you got that newsletter, check it out. Um, maybe you can save some money there. Thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host CDB and I'm saying God bless.